Hi, my name is Tim and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at two overdrive pedals. We're going to be looking at the new Timmy by MXR. And then we're going to put it up against the TS9 from Ibanez. If you want to cut to the chase, I would say out of the two, the TS9 for me cuts it. The reason being is that it cuts through the mix a little better. It has a little bit of a crisper tone to it. Depends how you use overdrive pedals. I usually use overdrive pedals to cut through the mix and I use it as a solo or a boost overdrive. I really want something that's just gonna cut through that doesn't necessarily need loads of volume. It just needs to, it needs to cut through the mix. So it's the TS9 for me. The Timmy on the other hand, what this does really well is this seems to just fatten up it just creates this width to the to the sound that's great for rhythm when I, I did a track and I, I did one track using just the TS9 one track using just the Timmy and the rhythm on the Timmy sounded amazing but it didn't for me that this didn't quite cut through TS9 however just, just it just had that little I'll play both the tracks for you now they're not very long they're only like 20 seconds 30 seconds I've there are three tracks there's a, a rhythm track which has been panned to the left Think. and then there's like a chunky rock rhythm which has been panned to the right and then the lead guitar which is straight through the middle. Have a listen to yourself and yeah make up your own minds but I'll see you in a second. So there's really there's not much in it. It's just when you listen to the tracks individually, you can really kind of pull the little part bits apart. It really, but again, it depends how you use overdrive pedals. So the way that I've used the overdrive pedals is the rhythm channel, which should be on your left. I set it up with a very clean amp. I'm just getting the pedal just to break the amp up a little bit. Rock rhythm channel is I've used a slightly crunchy amp. All my amps are in storage and I, I'm not gonna go and get them self-isolation, quarantine, all that kind of thing. Yeah, it's just not worth the risk. So I've, I've stayed at home. I'm running a Bias FX amp simulator, which sound great anyway. And then I'm just running these pedals into the front end through my through my interface. So the, yeah, the rock rhythm, I've used a slightly crunchy amp. I've used kind of a Marshall amp that's just breaking up and then I'm pushing the, the amp with these with either one of these pedals. And then for the lead sound, I'm using a driven amp, and then I'm using the pedals just to hit the front end, just to really saturate, really compress it, and really get a nice a nice lead tone. And those these little pedals that are coming out more frequently are just great space savers. I mean, I've got three or four pedal boards. These are just like a welcome addition. You know, it's the footprint of these is tiny, and the sound of them is just brilliant. It's just quality is amazing. And uh, I think over the next sort of four or five years we're gonna see most pedals are gonna just gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller until everybody is going out and gigging with just their phone or something. <laughs> phone or an iPad, which you know you can always you can already do now. This pedal's a lot heavier than this one. It's like twice the weight. Um, and I'm not the sort of person that will tell you what kind of transistors, what kind of circuit boards are in here, what kind of who made it, what the, you know, you're, I'm lucky to know if I find out who actually makes the pedal. So uh, this says it here, it says MXR, this says type in it, so that's about as much as I know. I'm only really interested in how they sound, how much they cost, you know, how small they are, how easy they are to use, that's kind of, that's my, my thing. I don't really get into the, I don't really undo the 
things and have a look inside and poke around that's not not my thing the mxr pedal you've got a bass and treble dial whereas the tube screamer you've only got tones you can either turn the tone up or turn the tone down so that's you so you've got more tonal um options with this and i did actually i didn't record it but if you turn the bass to zero and the treble up and you're using a strat you've just got an immediate john frusciante blood sugar sex magic tone and i just couldn't stop playing it so um, i might actually do a little demo with that demoing that tone with that because that was really really cool it's lovely you got this little dial here at the top you can't really see it a little it says clip i have no idea what it does i leave i left it in the middle because if you had it on the right hand side it seemed to be too kind of ruffly and if you had it to the left, it wasn't too trebly, but it was just didn't have any kind of color to it. So I left it in the middle position because that, that's just what sounds best to me. Pedals, these, this was 130 pound, I think, 130. These, about the same price. You know, for price, price range, they're about the same price. They're just over 100 pounds, 100 dollars, 100 euros, wherever you are in the world. Either one of these would be a welcome addition to anyone's pedal board, but for me, it was just the tube screamer just cut through a little bit more, sparkled the, some of the frequencies a little better. But they're both great pedals, both lovely. Both are actually good. Both of these are going to be on my pedal board and both of them are going to be used just as much. I'm going to use this one for mainly fattening up my rhythm and then this for cutting through for guitar solos. So I really enjoyed these pedals. This is the first time I've done like a little pedal demo review thing. So I enjoyed it. I enjoyed, I enjoyed making the track with these. It was cool. I would actually, honestly, I would use for, if I was for a recording purpose, for a gigging purpose, I'd use them both. Like I said, I'd use for rhythm, for lead, rhythm, lead, rhythm, lead. So if you're after something to fatten up your rhythm, this, if you're after something for a lead boost to cut through the mix, this. So there we go. Thank you. It was uh, it was a joy to do this little this little review. There's um, I might do a few more actually. I wasn't planning on doing them. I just got this the, the Timmy pedal, but I can't believe they missed a trick not calling this the Tiny Tim. How did they how did that get through? Maybe there's a copyright thing with Charles Dickens, but I don't know. He's been dead over a hundred years, so I think his published works are now in the public domain. I think that's how copyright work see we're always learning we're always learning different things here cool anyway right i will see you on the next video if you haven't and you like the video give it a like if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel there's loads of new videos loads of new content coming out and i will see you on the next one whenever that may be okay cool i hope everyone's staying well and i'll catch you later cheers bye